All right, let's uh, let's do some brick exploding. I guess I'm gonna have to build because Heather's gonna be busy yep. during that time. Someone has to. Judge things, so that means one of you has to drive and one of you has to read. Well, Which I'll person? drive. Okay. <laughs> I've not done right. recently. Uh, Carrie, do you have the PDF handy? I will once I close oh, this honkers. thing and do more stuff working. and find things. All right. I've still got the bus until Molly takes it away. Okay, I think I'm coming. Um, okay, I should have it. Yeah, you do. I just veered hard. I'm letting go, yep. All right, I'm going to close the bus. And I'm going to open the overhead camera. And there we go. I'm scrolling back in search of the PDF, so I should have it soon. Or it will be popped onto stage. You've got Please under 10 cheers. minutes remaining in the plush rollable dice set. Okay, I'm over here. Look at my hands. I, I can't. I'm not allowed. Uh, that's right, you're not. Please don't ask me to. Sorry. <laughs> no, no. They're good hands, Carrie. Look at these hands. Isn't they neat? All right. <laughs> Wouldn't I think your collection's complete? I would hope so. Please stop collecting hands. Ooh, that's dirty. I think we're on 50. I believe, yes. Okay. okay. So I think, if I remember correctly, you had asked me to let you know when I do the Minnesotan voice. Yes, please. And I yes. also believe that someone had asked me to do, someone in our, in our meeting beforehand asked me to do the voice while doing the reading. So. Please do. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. We are on step number 50. What we have here. Oh, boy. This is going to be a fun one. So all, all of these pieces, all four of them, they're light green. And what you're going to look for is two quarter rounds, the tall kind. All right. One, two by one by two tile and then one of these funny little guys here this one this one has double outies but they're on they're on perpendicular sides see it's a it looks like a one by two block but the double outies they're just around the corner from the other double outies so it's not a normal double outie on the opposite side I believe I know what you're saying. So like these two double outies, they're on the top, and then there's another set just around the corner on the side of it. Can you describe that brick just a little bit more to me? <laughs> oh, sure. It's a block, and it's going to be about one by two in its dimensions. I have it. All right, then. So, what are we going to do with that? <laughs> okay, so we're going to take those, that that two by one tile, and we're gonna orient it north to south. So it's going north to south there. Then we're gonna take the, the quarter rounds, and the, the short end of the quarter round is gonna cover the pips on that one by two tile. We're gonna cover them both up with two short, short ends of two quarter rounds. I've done this. Jeez, I can't keep the axe on top. And I'm like thinking so hard. Yeah. <laughs> the local terminology I was really appreciating. These roundy things, you know. You know. Oh, yeah, those. Yeah, oh, yeah. sure. Yeah, with the cheese and the beer, yeah, sure. Uh, so, all right, we got the quarter round stuck on top of that. One by two tile, yeah? Yeah. All right, then. What the heck is that? You could switch to the Atlanta accent if the Minnesota girl gets tired. I don't know if she's going to be much better at this. I can sure try. Yeah. All right. No, no, I can't keep that one at all. All right. So there was an assemblage that we made some time back. Mm -hmm. It it looks a little funny. Oh, it looks like it's the assembly from from step forty nine. It's got a little ball on one side, mm -hmm. and it's got a little slopey slope that goes up to a a top edge that has a two by two tile. Yes, I have it. 
Alrighty then. So we're going to keep that ball there over on the, the west side. It is. And we got that four pips of the of the two by two tile on the top of that slope running downhill from the four by fours down to the, or the two by two, sorry, down to the ball, right? Yes. All right then. <laughs> we're going to take that sucker there and we're just going to roll it north 180 degrees. I've done this. Great. So your little slope is now on the bottom. It is. Beautiful. Okay, then. We're going to take that that two by one double Audi with the funny Audis. They're not on the, dove, the opposite sides. They're perpendicular. You, you got that one? I got that one. All right, then. We're going to take it and it's two of its pips. It's going to go straight up and two of those pips are going to go out to the east. I've done this. All right. Now they're going to sit right down there, right on top uh, of the, the eastmost pips on your little assembly there. I have done this. So now they're sitting with their two pips up and their two pips east, and they're right on top of that assembly. That's correct. All righty then. The next thing we're going to do is that other smaller assembly you made with the quarter rounds and the one by two tile. Yes. That's going to drop right down. Right down on top of that there piece you just put in with the double Audi pips going right up. The tall part of those quarter rounds, that's going to cover those two pips. And the short part of those quarter rounds, that's going to go on top of the, the assembly that we got from 49. All right, yeah. I believe I've done this. All right, then. That's for step 50. Good Lord, well done. What on earth is this next thing? Is there a more Midwestern word than assemblage? <laughs> Could just call the whole thing a hot dish. <laughs> how, how, block I, party? I think we call it a casserole. Wait, no, no, that went to yeah. the south. Darn it. What was I thinking? So for, for step 51, I need you to find the assembly from step 45. And this, can, this might be a little bit of work there. All right, I think I have it. It's got a, a nice big long curve going on it, one edge. It does. And then there's a a big ball socket looking thing. A big ball. It is. Yes. If that big ball is pointing south and the flat face opposite the curve, the long flat face. Yes. Is by facing west there. I believe that is what I'm saying. Yes. All right, then we're going to take our our completed assemblage from step 50. Let's see here. We're going to keep on holding it just like we were in step 50. Okay. And we're going to make it go smack right up against that there assemblage from 45. They're just going to go Mwah! and they should stick right in there. The, the top curve from Step 50 should just like flow right into that flat short edge on, on the assemblage from 45 there. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope, that would never work. Uh, sorry. T talking through, talking through. Just give me a second. Oh, sure. Here we are. Okay, let's... You betcha. So on that assemblage from, from step 50, you should have six pips in a two by three arrangement sticking out to the east yeah i do they should go into the the bottom six pops uh sorry the lower six pops on that big long flat side of 45. it's on the it should be on the west facing face of 45. there should be a place for eight pops and you're going to cover six of them. The other two will get covered there with the quarter rounds, but they're not actually attaching. Ah. Uh, mm, mm, uh, mm, uh. Mm. So maybe I mm. should start describing 45 again. Would you like that? Yes. Okay, then. So you'll take the assemblage from 45. Mm -hmm. It's got this long flat bottom. Yes. It's got space for what looks like eight pit pops. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. So we're going to face the eight pops west. 
Yes. And then we're going to take that ball socket thingy and yes. point it south. I've done this. All right, then. Now make those those pops on that assembly from 45. Make it kiss those pips from the hollow point pips. I've done this. And, and there we go. That's step 51. Great. Hmm. All right, then. Bless we me. have got some odd ones today. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah. These two, these two little pieces, they are light green and they mm -hmm. are strange, let me tell you. They each have two pips. One of them will have two pips and then two pops. But it's not a normal tile. It looks like a tile. But it's not a normal tile because I see it's a half circle. I found it. Alrighty then. The other tile, now that one looks a little taller. It's not as tall as a block, but it looks a little taller. It's got a double outy hollow pips going up and down and it's the same shape. That same width and that same circle. One second. It's also got a little hollow section, it looks like. Like a little cutout, like a little taco. You could just I have found something it. right on in there, like a little taco. Yeah. I found it. Alrighty then. What we'll do is we're going to take that little taco and we're going to stand it upright and going east-west mm -hmm. so that the little taco's open and you can put your stuff in right inside the taco. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. Okay, then. Then we'll take our little other tile, that other little half circle. Yes. And we're just going to stick it right onto that taco on the outside. Like a wrapping. Like yep. a wrapper for your taco. I've like done this. Perfect. That's step 40, that 52. All right. Good Lord. Who wrote these instructions? I tell you what, <laughs> they are so difficult. Oh, I'm right there with you. <laughs> Bless. I don't even know how to describe these next couple. <laughs> these are, well, I'll be darned. Okay, so we're looking for three tiles in the next step. Okay. One of them is an eighth round. So it's like a quarter round, but it's wee short. Yeah. It only covers two pips, two yeah. pops, but it's a short little guy. Yeah. Okay. We've got, we've got what would be a tile with double outy hollow point pops, but that dear little tile, they went and cut off all the edges on it. So it's just a little circle. It's a full little circle, barely holds just the one little pop on both sides. Um tell you what if you made a whole stack of these it would just be a pole uh yes <laughs> yeah i so believe you... i have this already done oh yeah what the heck is that even i don't even know what that piece is <laughs> oh i got you now okay <laughs> oh, yeah. all right then okay you'll remember those eighth rounds with the cut out yes that's what we're going to need then. Okay. And then I think I see what we're maybe see what we're doing here. So we're going to take that little little taco you made in 52. Yeah. That's going to be part of the next thing we do. But first we'll take the it looks like we can take the quarter round and we're going to stick that little circle double outy pip right onto the, the lower part of that quarter round, uh, eighth round. My, my apologies there. I got um, wrong. The one without the cutouts. One second. Quick, man. Can you please run through all the tiles one more time? Okay, then. We've got uh, an eighth round. Uh, 
Okay. Or a, a short little quarter round. I don't remember how we're calling them. If it's if it's flatter than a quarter round, we were calling them eighth rounds. Yeah, yeah, a short little one. An eighth okay. round. It covers two pips. Yeah. And there's a little stair step there. Yeah. And then it looks like there's another one just like it, but it's got some cutout down at the bottom stair step. Right. So that that cutout, if you were if you were working walking up those steps, it would be like the kickboard. No, that's not a useful way to speak about it. Hmm. But it's that that eighth round with the little cutout section. I think. Yeah. So those are the three we're working with. Okay. Um, uh, any other tiles? Just those three. Just those three. No one pip hollow. One hollow pip in a disc kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, the, the circle with the two oh, double alleys. Right. Sorry, yeah. Okay, you did mention that, yes. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. That circle, Derek, it, it would make a pole if you stacked a whole bunch of them up. Yeah? Uh, yeah. It's a circle? <laughs> I, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm so sorry. That's not your fault. There's, I, um, I'm, I'm going to talk a little outside of what I would normally do. I can't find one of those pieces you're, you're mentioning, and I'm wondering if I need to open another bag. Oh, no. Has it prompted us to open another bag? It doesn't say anything about another bag. Oh, no. Crap. Maybe I'm just not describing it very well. Uh no, I think I think you probably have I think you probably have it right. If it's a if it's a quarter round but it's flatter. Um, I'm so sorry, it's an eighth round. Sorry, yeah, it's the eighth round, yeah. Yeah. It's which is so like the quarter like, rounds, but they're 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 way flatter, right? They yeah. they only have space. They're one by two essentially. Yeah. Yeah, they're one by two, but they're way flat, and they got some little cutout pieces. Oh, might be missing a piece. Welcome back. Hello. This might be the only step we managed to finish if I can figure out where. Can you pass me my headphones. Yeah, hang on a second. Okay, there you go. So you don't need to open another bag. Uh, we did ask, and it doesn't hasn't prompted us for one yet, so. It doesn't seem. Is it about a habit of here? Let me just grab a. Oh well, then you probably don't need another bag. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a look here. Just to see if there's anything in any of the other bags that matches that. You know, judging things is hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm glad we're spreading it around this year. <sighs> Did you know that I don't know how to work Slack? Because I found that out. Yeah. Rather, rather, I've learned new things about Slack that I didn't know before, and I, I it's too that. early in the morning for me to process. Yeah. Matthews gave me an education about Slack yesterday, I tell you what. <laughs> um, okay, for the for this, I'm gonna we're gonna break it a little bit here. Uh, I found the piece I need, but it is in it's it's in bag five. Bag five. Yeah. Oh dear. And so, um, Hunt can Heather, can you check the um, can you check the piece list? And what step are you on? We're on step fifty three there. Fifty three. Okay. So this is everything I've managed to find so far. And I can't find any more. If you can just look in the thing and see if there's actually the piece that I'm missing that I don't have in this collection here. If you can't find it in there, then I'm going to open another bag. I, I I think I think you have them already. Oh, I do. Yeah, I don't I don't think they're in what I have or that other bag. I think you have them already. Okay. All right. We'll, I think we'll we'll work from this then. So. Okay. Uh, maybe. Sorry. Yeah. Maybe it was just my misunderstanding. All right. Well, that that sure would be better than you having to get into another their bag. Yeah. All right. Bag there. Sorry. <laughs> bag there. Bag there. They got it all backwards and we're flustered. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm ready to listen. Okay, so 
we are gonna take let's see how do we best talk about this this isn't instructions i'm just telling you what we're gonna do okay so what we're gonna do is the pieces you got right there we're gonna mm -hmm. make them into kind of a set of tongs and those tongs they're gonna grip onto our little taco on one side of the taco okay so that's what i'm gonna be talking to you to but we'll get there okay the first thing we do to make our tongs is we want the taller part of those step pieces yep we want those to be grasped and hold the taco because it's so thick our taco uh-huh uh so we're gonna use the little round double outy piece yeah. that's yeah. gonna go on the small part the shorter part of one of those two quarter rounds okay i've done it all right then so that piece is gonna attach to the side of the taco that we didn't put a wrapper on decided a taco that doesn't have an extra little tile at it and just a little pip on the tall part of that stair step piece is going to touch the taco it's going to connect with the taco just a pip on the pop sorry pop, just sorry. pop on the bottom of that stair step piece so the little round pip it's going to sit out next to the taco but it won't be connected to the taco I have done this. Okay. Then we're going to do the same thing with that other eighth round. It's it's bottom stair step part is going to connect to the pip. It's on the double outy round piece. And it's other pop, the taller part of its curved pop, mm -hmm. is going to connect to the taco, like the other side of the tongs. I feel you. Yeah. And it's going to grip it like a little tongue. I've done this. Alrighty, Darren. Alrighty then. For step 54, we are only looking for two pieces. They're exactly alike. They are light green L's, and they've got a hollow point pip and a solid point pip on the bottom and the side of the L, the outside. I so, found these. Alrighty. We're going to make us another set of tongs there to go on the other side of the taco. Okay. The little hollow point pips, they are gonna go facing away from the taco to toward, well, first let's take our taco, our yep. little taco with our little tongs. Our tongs will be over on the east side and the ungrasped part of our taco is gonna be there on the left, on the west side. Okay. And the top of the taco is open so you can fill the taco, yeah? Yeah. Okay, then. We'll take those little L's and we're going to put them so that their, their pop, no, their pips, one pip is going north. Yeah. And then a hollow point is going west. I've done this. And then it's going to connect to the north side of the taco. Yes. All right, then. Cool. Then we're going to take the other one. We're going to put its pip going south and its hollow pip going west. I've done this. And then we attach it to the south side of the taco. I've done this. And that's step 54. All right. Nice. Well, we're going to call yeah, it there. We, we yeah. should. It's, yeah. it's quarter two. Yeah. I am mesmerized by, by listening to Carrie, though. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. I don't know if I managed to keep that up or not, but geez, I, that's. You're, you're awesome. You that's all I know. Time, yeah, all right. Was a, that was a very good. I'm very happy we managed to do that. Let's 